Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So 37-year-old Delaware resident Heather Kepley traveled to D.C. with her defendant, also her brother, Anthony Nolf. They each took their 15-year-old sons with them. Such great parents. Um, when they arrived on the Capitol grounds, Kepley was seen on video handing barricades to Nolf, and then he removed the barricades so they could get closer to the building. So Kepley and her group moved closer um, over to the area of the Lower West Terrace Tunnel, and Kepley admitted she saw the police deploying pepper spray, and they were trying to get the, the mob to back off. But she remained in the area, and she was recording all of the violence going on against the police. Kepley actually recorded that violent, egregious assault on Officer Michael Fanone, and she filmed other people kicking the police. They were attacking them with weapons. She caught all of this on video, and yet she was in the front of her group, led her group straight to the tunnel. So eventually, the police were able to push the mob back out to the mouth of the tunnel. You might recall at one point, they kind of gained some ground. And during all this chaos and melee, Kepley, her son, and her nephew all fell down, and they were being trampled by Trump's terrorists. Mother of the year right here. So when Kepley finally got out from under this pile of people, her face was all bloody. She then later admitted to the FBI she thought she was going to die. That's how bad it was. But she and her brother decided to stay on the Capitol grounds even after that in this dangerous situation with their minor children. So they stayed until sometime after 5 p.m. And in the days that followed the Capitol attack, Kepley posted on Facebook and she was boasting about her crimes. She also downplayed what happened on January 6th. And on January 9th, Kepley wrote, quote, we went after the corrupt politicians, not the Capitol. I was in the Capitol, and unless you were there, I don't give two shits about your opinion or the fake news. Really? You're saying you were in the Capitol, and then you're calling other people fake news. Wow. <laughs> These people have no shame. So 12 minutes later, after she posted that, she replied to someone else, and she said, quote, there were hundreds of thousands of people there. We could have flattened D.C. if we wanted to, but we were not there to destroy it. We were there to destroy the corrupt politicians. There is a very long tunnel underground that leads about two blocks behind the Capitol that all the politicians were taken through to evacuate. Too bad they didn't want to stay and face us, the people. Uh, yeah except there was more than $3 million worth of damage done to the Capitol. So yeah, you, that may not have been your target, but it got destroyed anyway. So anyway, Kepley also made some very interesting comments like, quote, I made it in the Capitol and believe it or not, I didn't break anything. I didn't set anything on fire. I was there for Pelosi, that's all. Really? Tell me more, Heather. What exactly were you planning to do if you found Nancy Pelosi? So on February 11th of 2021, Kepley posted about the election fraud fairy tale again, and she ended the post with, quote, This will eventually end, and it's not going to be pretty. Locked and loaded. The following day, Kepley wrote, quote, I was in D.C. also during the riots. We were not there to destroy anything. We just want answers to the truth. And, quote, if D.C. is calling 1-6 a riot, how about America actually show them a real riot? So first of all, no, you don't. MAGA doesn't want the truth. They're like sp spoiled, petulant brats. You want your way. You want to hear what you want to hear. You don't want to hear the truth because you were given the truth. You've all been given the truth over and over and over again, and you just keep throwing tantrums. Second, it was a real riot. People actually died. Officers were severely, some permanently injured. It's seriously as if these people just live on another planet. 
They have no clue what's actually going on. So the FBI interviewed Kepley on January 20th of 2022. She admitted to being at the Capitol. She admitted entering the tunnel. That's where her honesty ended, though. Kepley said she didn't recall moving any barricades. She also claimed that she was pushed inside of the tunnel. And she said, oh, I didn't record anything on January 6th. No videos, nothing to show here. Yeah. She also told the agents that she never intended to enter the Capitol. Yeah. She was there for Pelosi and to, quote unquote, destroy the corrupt politicians. But she wasn't interested in going in the Capitol, you guys. So Kepley was arrested on April 5th of 2023, and she was charged with civil disorder, entering a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a restricted building or grounds. And in August of 2023, Kepley pleaded guilty to the entering the restricted building or grounds charge. So that is a misdemeanor. It's one of the more serious ones, though. So she faced up to one year in prison one year of probation and 100,000 in fines. However, the prosecutor requested only five months in prison, one year of probation and 500 in restitution. U.S. District Judge Beryl Howell presided over Kepley's case. And unfortunately, I have seen a lot of disparity, I will be honest with you, in the sentencings between men and women. Women seem to get a pass in the cases where men receive at least some sort of prison time. In this case, Kepley was sentenced to only three years of probation, a fine of $1,500 and $500 in restitution. Um, yeah, you know, the fact that she took her minor, minor child to the Capitol, exposed him to that violence and that danger, that alone warrants a considerable prison sentence and a call to Child Protective Services. I'm shocked, honestly, because this is a pretty tough judge. You know, and, and when you lie, when you continue to lie about what you did, why are you granted a plea deal? So this is ridiculous. And I, again, I'm very surprised by this from this judge, especially. Again, I've seen a difference with men and women. It's disturbing. I don't like it. I believe in equal justice, no matter what your sex, no matter what your race, you know, cross the board. Anyway, I will let you all know if I hear any more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.